Hey everyone, praise God, glory to his great name. I wanted to give a word of encouragement that's been put on my heart the last day or two. I'm realizing that a lot of us, we know we have victory in Jesus and we want to walk that way. We know this freedom, we know our identity, who we are in Jesus. We know it's all by his grace. We know how it's all done through his finished work on the cross and his resurrection one sacrifice for all time. We know that he is God in the flesh. We know that he has done everything. However, there are still areas in our life that are still in bondage. I know they're still in my life, as many of you know, the decades of severe depression, even though I've been free now for 25 years, it's because of Christ who lives in me. But in other words, he wants more access to the deep areas of my heart. Sort of like that have a locked door sort of like the, the term, the skeletons in our closet. See, that, that could be hurt, it could be unforgiveness, it could be bad experiences, and for many of us, it still goes back to childhood. But we know we're free in Christ, but those things still linger. So I want you to be encouraged, it's painful. Jesus wants those doors open. He wants to bring healing. Because he, oh, he's the only one that can thoroughly heal and thoroughly bring to fullness. And that's what he wants to do in you. That's what he wants to do in me. There are still those areas and it has to be done gently and tenderly. Not easy and it's gonna be painful. It's gonna be painful. But know that he wants us to acknowledge it and even to repent of it. And then to receive his forgiveness because he has done, he has supply, supplied that, but he wants to do the healing. So do it one step at a time. And then he wants you to renounce it in, in the authority he has given. Like, I forgive myself for the poor self-image I have. I forgive my parents for not being there for me when, I, when they should have been there. Or I renounce in the authority that Jesus has given me, this bondage of overeating, of drinking, or whatever it might be, of perfectionism. Take the time, God will show you, but do it gently, one step at a time. And then, use the authority that Jesus has given you, and vocally tell his name, because remember, these are spirits that are doing us. And yes, there may be some physiological and just worldly things about them, that are causing the bondage, but in many ways, there are spirits behind us keeping in bondage. Poor self-image. I can start saying, you know what, Lord? I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus, under the authority that he has given me, that I am a child of God, that he is pleased with me. Not in pleased any sins I made commit, but pleased in the person he has made me. I am an overcomer, I am victor, and I proclaim that to you, devil, in the name of Jesus Christ. So that's what I'm learning. I mean, there's freedom, totally all in Jesus, but we have to grow out of these areas. Then as you do that, receive God's blessings with it. Lord, I thank you for providing the victory. I thank you for giving a victory. And this is, see, understand, this is more than just lip service. I haven't talked this way too much previously but this is more than lip service see this goes to the deepest depths of the heart it's what god is doing in you to provide the victory and it's done one step at a time for we battle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers in the spiritual realm now we want to resist the devil and he will flee from us and this is one way to resist because as many of you may experience i know i have and still do a lot of that bondage goes back to childhood and it's still there. But God wants to totally heal that, only he can. So play this video again, however God leads you, and please share it with others. God bless you all. I should have more out on areas like this soon. Let me pray. Lord, I pray for these people right now. You show them your heart. Show them how much you love them. Show them how much you mean for them and you want to make them whole, Lord. Forgive them of every sin that has been committed and Bring them close to your heart so that they can acknowledge, admit, forgive, forgive themselves, forgive others who have hurt them, and that they can renounce whatever bondage is keeping them in. 
and then claim it in the authority that you have done it. This is you walking out. This is not naming it and claiming it, Lord. This is you working in the deepest depths of the human heart that you want to walk that out. And it will be victory. And that's why then we can receive the blessings. We thank you. We praise you and glorify you in your wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Play this video again and pray for me as I pray for you and share it with others. God bless.